Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how to change the thermometer units between Celsius and Fahrenheit on your Casio G-Shock Module 3475 watch. This watch is very similar to other Casio models that have a thermometer sensor on it. You've got a thermometer and you've got a barometer sensor. Now, in terms of the reading, as with most watches that have these sensors, they recommend that you take the watch off, wipe it dry, let it sit there. Direct sunlight, humidity, and your body temperature can impact the thermometer reading on this watch. So if you really want an accurate reading, take it off of your wrist. But I feel like this watch does a pretty good job. There's some watches that it's really off if it's on your wrist. Uh, this one does a pretty good job. So I'm going to show you it real quick, and then I'm going to show you how to change the units. From our main timekeeping mode, you've basically got a mode button down here on the left. If you press it, it'll take you to your different modes. There's my heart rate, workout, stopwatch. Eventually, you'll get to one that says barometer. And you can see I've got my barometer reading in the middle, and at the top left, it is showing my thermometer value from the temperature sensor on the watch. I'm at 85.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, what if you're not a Fahrenheit person? You want to switch that to Celsius. I'm going to show you how to do it. First thing we need to do is we need to get back to our main timekeeping mode. We can press the back button. It's the bottom right button a couple of times, or you can always press and hold the mode button, and that will take you back to your main timekeeping mode. Now, once we're in our main timekeeping mode, now, first let me say what I'm going to show you here will only work if you've got your home city set correctly. When you get this watch, by default, the home city is set to Tokyo. If your watch is set to Tokyo, you will not see what I'm getting ready to show you here because they don't let you adjust the units if your home city is Tokyo. I've got my home city set correct. That really should be the very first thing you do when you get this watch is set your home city. Once your home city is set, you're going to press and hold the top left button. That will take you into your settings screen. We could either use the up or down button. You're basically going to go up or down until you see units. Or unit, I should say. Once we're on unit, we're going to press the middle button on the left-hand side to select. That's always going to be our select button. Under units, you'll see a bunch of different options you can change. Your distance, your calories, your altimeter, barometer, and finally you'll see an option for thermometer. Again, I'm going to press the middle button to select thermometer. Mine was set to Fahrenheit. If I wanted to switch that to Celsius, I could simply go up, switch it to Celsius, or vice versa if you're wanting to switch yours to Fahrenheit. Once you've got the value set correctly, press the middle button to confirm. You'll see it says settings complete. Now, let's press the back button and let's go back to our barometer and our thermometer reading should be in Celsius instead of Fahrenheit. Again, I'm going to press the mode button a few times. And now we can see that my temperature is being displayed in Celsius, 30.2 degrees Celsius. Pretty simple stuff. That is how we adjust our thermometer unit on our Casio G-Shock 3475 watch. I hope the video helps.